one is um, the TCP server traffic light. So for those of you who were at the models conference in uh, Munich, you have already seen this sample, but we decided to include it in the product since it's a quite a useful um, sample for showing how this uh, TCP server communication can work. Traffic light demo. And this is an extended version of the basic traffic light that already was was included before. So it has um, a top capsule consisting of um, a traffic light capsule, but also this server capsule that, that, that uses this TCP server library. And by doing that, it allows you to send and, in, and receive all events on this port light control on this my TCP server here. So on light control, we have uh, several events. We have the usual red, green, and yellow to control the traffic light. But there are also um, other um, functions or events added here to demonstrate what can be done. So for example, you can make an invoke to get uh, the current active light. You can, um, yeah, there you can deactivate the light. You can determine how long it should be inactive and so on. Um, so if we just uh, launch this, um, there are two theses. Uh, the pre-built one links with a pre-built uh, version of this library. And currently, we only have a pre-built version for Windows uh, Visual Studio. Uh, so if you're using another platform, you, you have to use this one and, and update it so it fits uh, the settings for your platform. But for now, I think we can just um, use this pre-built one and build it. And uh, then we can also launch a debug session so we can see what happens. And let's uh, resume it. And when we resume it, the traffic light starts up and it actually starts to send a message already now that no one uh, uh, reacted to. So let's open the traffic light to see. Um, what it looks like. So on the top level, we have two states, the light active when the traffic light is active and another one when it's inactive. And if we double click here, we can go into the state machine here and see where it's at right now. It's in the red state. And now you can drive this um, application in using any application that supports TCP communication, like a script or another application. Uh, but for now, I will use uh, Artist uh, or R311 uh, that I talked about that we now have released as a pre-release. And the, the big new thing here, except for that it's used the latest Eclipse, is that it has a Node-RED support. Uh, and Node-RED is just one way you can invoke TCP requests, but I will use this here to, to, to demonstrate what happens. So using this node here, we can see that I want to communicate with the artist application running on port 9911. I want to send events to this light control port. And the event is specified here uh, in JSON format. So the green event will be sent here. And so I click here, and the transition light, transition, uh, traffic light transitions to green. I can go to yellow, and so on. And at the same time, if we look here in the output, we got get messages back. Uh, that's all events that come out from the artist application that we uh, follow, that, that we capture by, by this uh, TCP uh, request node or TCP uh, listen node. Uh, it's also possible to make invokes, uh, I mean, synchronous calls into the applications. For example, the get active light, uh, we'll use that. It does an invoke, and then it just prints the result to the output. So if I do that now, I expect to get back uh, the current uh, state of the light. And yeah, it's yellow here. So you see it's, it, we got um, the active light reply event back, and the data attached with that event is uh, artist string yellow. Uh, and I hope that in the future, uh, when this um, version 11 is uh, in in production quality we will make a more in-depth demo of all the new features in in version 11 but for now that this was just a quick uh...